Hey everybody, welcome back to Kimbo's Comfort Kitchen. And today we are going to do one of my childhood favorites that my grandma, my Fatma, used to do with, for me was uh, fisque filet. And that's fish filet when we're using sole fillets. Now, before your Danes that are watching get all freaked out and going, Good fleet with it, what is he doing? Um, just relax, okay? Still your old egos. And um, we're going to, I've changed a few things in the recipe. One is I'm using panko breadcrumbs instead of regular breadcrumbs. I'm also not dredging it in milk, um, which my grandma used to do. And I am seasoning it a little bit differently. Uh, the methodology for seasoning I do right on the fish instead of in the flour and in the crumbs because it loses it, it gets dissipated. Um, the other thing is I'm using a crap load of canola oil. Yes, a crap load. But it's going to come out beautiful dry, on the, crispy on the outside and really nice and moist on the inside. So take a look. I'd love to hear your feedback on that. And so let's get going. Best good. All right, so the first part is the seasoning. Now, I know a lot of times people say, oh, well, I'll put the salt and I'll put the pepper into the flour or into the breadcrumbs. But you know what? I find it much more effective to actually season the sole right on the skin. And I have dried the sole. I got it from the market and I washed it and then I patted it dry. Okay, and now I'm just gonna flip it over. And it's not perfectly dry because there's some residual moisture. But you know what, that's okay. So I'm gonna do this. And I'm telling you, this is a much more effective way to season your fish than by um, putting it into the flour and salt because it's so it gets so dissipated in the flour and salt and you're not using all of it okay so now we've seasoned the fish next step pretty basic I am going to dredge it and I want the flour to hit all of the moist parts of the fish and I'm going to shake it and put it out like that. Okay? It's really not that complicated. And take that one. And then I'm going to finish all of them that way. All right. So here we go. For the last part, is I'm going to use one hand. I haven't used milk. I know that my Fatmo would be horrified that I didn't actually use the milk first time around. But as you can see, by using this process, I have now got the panko on there. And I'm going to do all of these the same way they have been fresh in flour, they've been salted and peppered. In other words, they've been seasoned. And then we'll go from there. All right, so here are the uh, sole fillets that have been in the fridge for half an hour, and I'm now going to place them into the pan. Let's go. Okay, so this is how I check to see if the oil is hot enough. Throw some water in. And it starts to bubble like this and sparkle, and then you know the oil is hot enough. Now, I'm only gonna do two fillets this time. because I'm going to do two more after this. And I'm going to let these cook and then I'm going to let them rest in the oven, which I've already preheated to like 145 degrees. 
I know it seems like a lot of oil, but trust me, these are going to come out beautiful. So I'm going to let these cook until I see the edges get a little bit crispy and we're going to flip them and we'll go from there. Okay, so I'll just let these go. This has actually only been about a minute, if that. You can see the edges are kind of brown. I'm going to flip them. Oops. And flip them again. And this is only going to take about a minute, maybe. So I don't want to overcook them. I want a nice crispy crust on the outside, crispy crust on the outside, and I want them to be nice and flaky on the inside. Let's just take a look. It doesn't take very long. Now I'm going to pull. with the rack on it. It's been sitting warming. And again, I don't want the oven to be very hot. I just want to get some color here. These are pretty thin. Now I'm going to pull these out. You see how golden brown they are? They're perfect. I'm going to put the oven in the oven and I'm going to let them settle and all the oil will drain out of that. And I'm going to throw these ones in as well while the others are draining. Okay, so here we are, and we are going to plate, and that is one beautiful little fish gift across the board. A little bit of hamoulet, which I can show you how to make on one of my other videos, because we don't want to overdo it. And then I'm going to take some new asparagus put that there and let's cut a couple potatoes have some new potatoes like that and we will take some butter with parsley very simple. And you know what? This is an amazing little fisca filet. So simple. Oh, and I forgot. For those of you, because we want just a little bit of salt on the potatoes. There we go. Best good, and I hope you enjoy.